decade of hydraulic humanoid robotics work at Boston Dynamics. Atlas stands about five feet tall, weighs about 190 pounds. It's battery powered and hydraulically actuated with 28 degrees of freedom. It has RGB cameras and depth sensors which provide input to its control system and all of the computation required for control, perception and estimation happens on board its three computers. Parkour is a useful organizing activity for our team because it highlights several challenges that we believe to be important. First, how do we build a high power density mobile robot that's capable of extended athletic behavior? How do we design control algorithms that can create a variety of behaviors and control them robustly? And how do we connect perception to action in a way that both captures long-term goals like getting from point A to point B and short-term dynamic goals like adjusting footsteps and uh, applying corrective forces to maintain balance. It can be frustrating sometimes. The robots crash a lot. It's not the robot just magically deciding to do parkour. It's kind of a choreographed routine, much like you know a skateboard video or a parkour video where you know it's an athlete that's practiced these moves dozens or hundreds of times even to get to that you know that high level, that exciting you know capability. So we're kind of doing the same thing here with Atlas. You know, we're exploring you know how to how to push it to its limits, sometimes operating at those limits. And you know we learn a lot from that in terms of how to build robots that can survive you know falling on their face and getting back up and doing it again. We also learn a lot about the behavior, the control, the thing that you know puts one foot in front of the other. These videos are a true team effort. First, of course, you have the software team who is responsible for creating all the behaviors and control software required to execute the behaviors reliably on the robot. We have a hardware team who is responsible for making strategic upgrades to our robots that enable things like extended dance and parkour routines. Our technicians debug and repair a variety of issues that can range from broken mechanical parts to hydraulic leakages to electrical failures. And our operations staff is responsible for building these environments and repairing them when robots crash through them and helping us run the many, many tests required to uh, get this kind of a demonstration to a high degree of reliability.